It's my pleasure, Mr. Speaker, to rise to support this bill, although I'd have to admit that I'm deeply disappointed that the member has relented and, and uh, reduced his bill substantially. Initially, as I understand, Bill C-311 was actually proposing that Remembrance Day be a statutory holiday. And Mr. Speaker, Remembrance Day is already a statutory holiday in my province of Alberta and in every province except Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec and Nova Scotia. And my experience, Mr. Speaker, is, and those of the experience of those in my city, that making this Day of Remembrance a statutory holiday actually enables and encourages families to participate in memorial services. Events are well attended uh, in Edmonton at Senate House located across the country, across the city. Schools do host events, and there is no conflict, has been raised, I think, by, by some veterans. Most schools actually host their uh, November 11th activities days before November 11th, and I have regularly participated in events in both McNally High School and Vimy Ridge High School, and they are a pleasure to participate in. While the largest service held with the Lieutenant Governor is hosted at the University of Alberta in my riding, for the past few years I've been honoured to be invited to join the Premier and the Southern Alberta Light Horse Regiment in a very special service at Holy Trinity Anglican Church. We then march with the soldiers to the Cenotaph at the now renamed Light Horse Park. I've also had the privilege of working with a committee of Edmontonians determined to refurbish the old Strathcona Cenotaph an effort led by the South Alberta Light Horse Regiment Foundation, nicknamed Sally Horse. I'm joined on this committee by our local MLA, the Premier of Alberta, the Rector for Holy Trinity Anglican Church, the Royal Canadian Legion, our City Councilor, the Old Strathcona Foundation, the Strathcona Community League, Fringe Theatre Adventures, and the Old Strathcona Business Association, and finally the Youth Empowerment and Support Services, or YES. YES is located, an uh, organization that supports youth who are homeless, is located in the adjacent Connaught Armory, the oldest in the province, and they kindly, each Remembrance Day, host all who attend the ceremonies at our Cenotaph. This joint initiative to refurbish the Cenotaph has been inspired by the growing interest in participating in this community-based ceremony and in recognizing the deep connection of the light horse to Old Strathcona. The official birth date of the Salties was July 1905, and Old Strathcona was their regimental headquarters until 1964. Their flags still fly in Holy Trinity Church. The regiments were horse-mounted in the early days, and Albertan, Albertan regiments are famous for their horsemanship, going back to World War I when Albertans were tasked with breaking in new mounts at Southampton's Remount Depot because of their natural horsemanship. Members of the then-called Dragoons were dispatched from the Old Strathcona train station, in 1914 during World War I and also in 1939 during uh, World War II. Their current Colonel-in-Chief is Her Royal Highness the Countess of Wessex, who has attended some of the November 11 services and ceremonies and honoured us at the groundbreaking of the new Cenotaph Park, Lighthorse Park. The 31st Battalion was one of the key Alberta battalions and it drew approximately 50% of the men from Edmonton and its surrounding area. It was active in all major campaigns throughout World War I and was awarded many battle honours, to name only a few. Ypres, Mount Sorrel, Somme, Arras, Vimy, Hill 70, Passchendaele and Flanders. The 15th Light Horse continues to serve as cavalry on horseback and trained regularly as part of the 5th Canadian Cavalry Brigade alongside the 19th Alberta Dragoons. In 1942, the unit was converted to a tank regiment redesignated as the 29th Armoured Reconnaissance Regiment and fighting in France, Belgium, the Netherlands and finally Germany with continuous action from 1944 to 1945. In 1954, the Southern Alberta Regiment emer merged with the 15th Light Horse to form the South Alberta Light Horse. Planned additions to the memorial will commemorate the Alberta Light Horse history and its strong links to the community, creating a place of interest and gathering year-round. The changes will provide new educational materials for students, families, and community members, helping bring the local military history alive. The Light Horse Park Cenotaph Rehabilitation Project is an important legacy project, not just for November the 11th, but benefiting the community year-round, including for our famous Fringe Festival and for the Community League. We're hopeful it will soon be completed so that all may gather in a beautiful location 
in Edmonton Strathcona to observe Remembrance Day. And again, I am very grateful that everybody, every family in my city has the opportunity to come and celebrate with us on Remembrance Day. Yes, sir.